You can see your calco pyrite. And again, more calco pyrite. Here's another one we pulled out of the ditch right here. Massive calco. Continuing on, pyrite in that sample. This area right here, we found a whole bunch of samples in a uh, about 15 foot stretch. And uh, we hammered a boulder like that and found some really nice ones. And then these ones actually came from bedrock here. This was sticking out of the water right there. We tried to clear it a bit, but it's just a bit too much water and a bit too murky to see anything in there. These pieces right here were from a grab right beside it. There's a bit more bedrock exposed. We did find some on the edge of here, edge of there edge of here there's still some there more along the bedrock here there was lots of malachite staining on the samples from here all along in here sample from in there on bedrock bedrock there bedrock there a few samples from over here lots of grab samples where this ditch is dug out Chip some off bedrock there. And this is actually a bedrock sample here too. Going down here, pulled more into the bank there. More out here. And this is kind of where you see a bit less and the creek flows in back. There's no bedrock exposed for a while. Pulled out a couple samples here. This looks like it's got arsenopyrite on it. Yeah, definitely got arsino right there. And we have found maybe 10 or 20 more grab samples along in here, right where that pink colored rock is, is where we found even more. We found uh, some malachite staining on a couple 10 kilogram boulders and some nice calcopyrite. And then this is kind of the, the limits of where you find any of the calco pyrite. So in all reality, I'm 150 meters away from the spot I started at. So we have 150 meters where you can find samples. And I think you're probably gonna be about 75 meters, give or take, um, of where you can find it in the bedrock. There was a 1.5 meter block of Calcopyrite found somewhere in the center here. We think it's actually where they widen the road um, But yeah, this is the copper zone and This way is where you start finding more of the arsenopyrite samples But we have chipped quite a few off of uh, bedrock pieces here as well This bucket here is basically Where we've pulled out all these samples from the the copper zone, place them in here. There's that uh, 
big boulder. This is about half of it. Broke the other half. More there. Arsenopyrite as well in this. And here are a few more ones we've pulled off either bedrock or off of the road. Another few here. This was a road grab. This was dug right out of this trench right here. More from the copper zone. Most of these are grabs. A couple more grabs here. 